So today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, obviously, we all know at this point, we're stuck inside. So we're all looking for that little bit of extra entertainment. And haven't I hit the jackpot? So TLC has this show called 90 Day Fiance. And the whole idea is that there's a man who falls in love with a foreigner woman. And they've got 90 days to figure out if they want to get married or if they want to get the hell out of here. Oh God, the first title of the first video, Big Ed is getting ready to meet his 23-year-old girlfriend. I'm 24. His girlfriend is younger than me. How old's Ed? I'm Ed, I'm 54 years old. People know me as Big Ed. I am a professional photographer. Oh my God, right there. Hello, stop it. Oh my God, ooch, ouch. Oh my God, stop it, ooch, ouch. What is he saying? I'm a photographer. I feel like people have always known this. I have never in a million years said to a model, oh my God, ooch, ouch. Does that get people going? I actually gave myself the name Big Ed because I have a huge personality and it makes me feel tall. That's the money. Also, it's funny because I'm not tall. Oh my god, that blink. Oh my god. Blink twice if you're in trouble, Ed. Blink twice if you're in trouble. Are you okay, Ed? Are you okay? So now we know who Big Ed is, and it's time to see how Big Ed and the love of his life, the 23-year-old Rose, go when they finally meet in person. Am I what you expected? Do you like? Sure, to me. <laughs> I thought if I told you I was the same height, maybe I would have a chance. I see on first in person she he is really big <laughs> big <laughs> rose is a fucking savage do you find me attractive attractive always you now i'm as shocked as you nothing wrong with big ed but i didn't expect her to be that attracted to him like i, I thought she'd be a little bit like Ooh, what like what's going on here but she was into it last night we made love it was awesome. People actually say we made love. Is this a legitimate thing? Like, yeah, last night we uh, we made love. I understand that he's 54, but made love? Like, I'm 24. Somebody said we made love. Uh, I'm sorry, Ed. I'm sorry. I didn't come here to tease you. I mean, I kind of did, but I just, I just can't. Let's put it this way. I'm not only on cloud nine, but I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> I think she enjoyed it. Oh, I think she enjoyed it. It sounds creepy, Ed. I'm sorry. But she doesn't like my beard. Can I have a kiss? Oh, I don't like your beard. It's hurt on me. She doesn't like your beard or she doesn't like you, Ed. Okay, here's the deal. What? Um, don't be mad at me, but um... You know for a fact that because he said don't be mad at him, we're all about to be mad at him. Last night when I noticed that your legs were... Kind of like mine. <laughs> they were hairy. What? Yeah. Black hair, it just seems kind of less feminine for a woman. So it, yeah, I don't, I don't like black hair. Wait, so you're telling me the Big Ed just told this 23-year-old who is way more attractive than him to shave her legs because it's gross. In my opinion, I don't think a little bit of leg hair should be the deal breaker for Big Ed. <laughs> Bro, the absolute nerve. I have like this weird feeling of one secondhand embarrassment and just like anger. If Big Ed told me to shave my legs, my God, I'd be like, excuse me, did you just tell me what to do? So it's soft. Your legs will be soft like my skin. Come on. Um, Either that or you kiss me. Well, you either gotta shave your legs or you gotta smooch me on the lips, darling. Make your choice. So, what are we all witnessing here today? I wait for you. She literally just grunts at him. I love you. You and I, us, as we look at this together, I think we're aware that this is not the norm when it comes to dating and relationships. But that shaving the legs thing, that's still a red flag to me. That's, that's strike number one in my eyes, Ed. I'm sorry, mate. And then it gets worse. I know you're tired of me asking about your past and I don't wanna do that anymore. I wanna put it behind us but I have a favor. Ed has a favor, everyone. What is Ed's favor? So there's a test that you can take. Yeah. You test me? No, yeah, a te it's, a, it's a test for, um, for um, it, it, I don't know if you understand, it's um, STD, which is, um, I think it's a blood test. Did Ed seriously just ask her for an STD test? And they just test to see um, if you have um, like sexually transmitted disease. So that, so I was asking if you're- The stutter. I was just, uh, it's a, I think it's like a, uh, oh, uh, I think it's like a, uh, spit it out, Ed. You're the one that wants to get the test done. Willing to take that test. I'll never ask you a, a, an, another question about your past. I wonder what Rose is thinking about in that moment when she's like looking up and down and she like, what the fuck? 
did I agree to do this? Like, I thought this was gonna be fun. I thought I, I thought I had my ticket out of here. Now he's asking me for some sexually, hey, what's that? It's a set, STD, a sexually transmitted d- d- test. Okay, so we've gotten past a couple hiccups. Now it's time for Big Ed to meet Rose's family. And I don't think that there is a better way to bond with your future father-in-law than by having a shower with him. <laughs> Uh, okay, what do we do? Oh, it's really happening. He's really showering with Rose's dad. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, drop the soap. (laughs) Sorry. I am a child, okay? This is peak father-son bonding. Big Ed, Rose's dad, a big bucket of water. Some would call it magic. And then things took a turn. Now Big Ed apparently thinks that Rose is scamming him for some reason. After a bonding moment like that with her father, it could never be true. There's just no way. You can't just grab from my wallet. Okay. I want to see how much this is. I don't even, I don't even know how much this is. How much? One eighty. Awesome. Keep the change. No. No. Keep the change. Keep the change? Are you kidding me? How dare you, Rose? How dare you? It's like surely I'm not the only person that's seeing the big picture here. We're seeing the whole. The whole situation of a 23-year-old Filipino who's living in a shack trying to date a 54-year-old American man. I feel like Ed, mate, surely you know what you signed up for. I didn't think that there could be this much drama in one long-distance 90-day relationship, but TLC has made it happen. But wait, of course, there's more. I got a couple more things. This is going to be less romantic. So this is um, mouthwash. And I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. Oh my God, the nerve on Big Ed. He just handed her mouthwash, toothpaste, and a toothbrush and said that she got some stank breath. Run, Rose. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure Ed is lovely. But Rose, there is plenty of men in America who are looking for a a wife. Please find anyone else. One of the first things I noticed, even at the airport, you know, was her breath. But I didn't know how to bring it up. And I don't think she realizes it. But I do. And then I got you good toothpaste. Do you know that um, my concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. You can get sick. Yes, my concern first and foremost is your health, Rose. It's your health. It's like, no, it's your nose. It's your nose, Ed, that you're worried about. No one wants to smell a stinky breath. I'll be the first to say it. But don't act as if you're worried about her health. I don't know how I would take if somebody said that to me. And I don't know how I would take it if Big Ed said it to me. I love you. I love you. I love you. Does that mean I love you? I hope it means I love you. Does that mean I love you? I hope it means I love you. Oh God, Ed, she's saying you're ugly. Oh no. I mean, I feel bad for the mans, but God damn, you just told a chick to brush her teeth and gave her mouthwash. What do you expect? I've said it before. Three strikes and you're out, Ed. Run in the other direction, Rose. Well, wasn't that a roller coaster? I think we've had enough of Big Ed today. But if you enjoyed this and you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments. This is really different to what I usually do. This is a totally different style of commentating. So I hope you really enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed, please consider. Uh, And I'll see you guys next time. If you want more Big Ed content, let me know, all right?